Good. Sounds good. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, first off, thanks everyone for joining us today for Dean Dorton's Cloud Days. Uh, I hope it's been a productive day for you so far, and I'm excited to just take a few minutes here and tell you a little more about Cisco WebEx devices, and in particular, the WebEx board. Uh, just a little bit about me, I'm Billy Zellers. Uh, I've been with the firm since 2015 and working with Cisco products since about 2011. Um, I'm a member of our IT infrastructure services group. So we cover everything from networking, cloud services, all the way to IP voice and video. So before we dive into WebEx board, I, I wanted to give just a brief overview of the range of WebEx device products available. And then their features. So here you can see kind of a bunch of different WebEx devices on the screen. Um, you've got everything from home office down here at the bottom with the WebEx Desk Pro. You can see the more corporate boardroom here with the WebEx Room Series. And then we've got everything in between. So we've got the WebEx board over here on the right that we'll be talking about today. And you can even see headsets. So up on the top, there's the 700 series headset down in the bottom left there's the 900 series headset and those are kind of new additions to the portfolio so we're not just focused on the boardroom or the home office but also that person that's kind of a road warrior and on the go so let's jump right in uh, why webex devices the line is is crazy flexible so you've got options for small huddle spaces large boardrooms, everything in between. Um, like we mentioned, the, the WebEx board, maybe your kind of huddle space or small meeting room option. Uh, you've got much larger options, you know, immersive video conferencing type things that you might use in a boardroom. And then you've got home office options. So there's the WebEx Desk, Desk Pro, and Desk Hub line of devices as well that are great for your individual person in their home office. Uh, hot desking spaces at the corporate office. And that's what we love about the line is just the flexibility. We've also come to really enjoy the intelligent side of the solution. So, uh, for example, these WebEx devices do things like people detection. They track room utilization and room statistics. So you might be wondering why. Um, consider this, you know, these devices are, are in our conference rooms every day and they're people counting. So the device in your conference room is actually taking a look at its camera and saying, I see three people in the room. I see four people in the room. We were actually able to take a use of the API during COVID and do things like uh, room capacity limits. So if the device saw four people in a room that we could really only social distance three people, we could have the device pop up a little message that said, hey, you should move to a bigger conference room. 
this space really isn't big enough to do safely. You also have uh, a really open architecture and, and that kind of leads into us being able to build our own solution there. But everybody's first thought when I say WebEx devices is, why do we want this if we don't use WebEx? Um, they have totally opened this up. So just because you're on a WebEx device doesn't mean that you have to use a WebEx meeting. Uh, for example, I'm joined to this Microsoft Teams meeting right now from a WebEx device. So we really enjoyed that open architecture. Uh, Cisco wants to work with everybody and instead of locking you into the WebEx ecosystem, they want you to be able to use this best in class device across every meeting you've got. And last but not least for our IT administrators on the call, uh, you've got a single pane of glass for all this stuff. So like I mentioned, these devices are tracking how many people are using rooms, how often they're using rooms. And we bring that into the single pane of glass with workspace insights. So an IT manager or an office manager could take a look at the portal and say, uh, we see this room is, is used pretty often. Uh, but maybe heavily on Mondays, not heavily other days. We track all those insights and put that in a single pane of glass along with the device management for the IT team. Um, before we jump into demos, just wanted to touch on which meeting platforms are actually supported. So like I mentioned, open. So we're gonna support Cisco WebEx. We're gonna support Microsoft Teams, uh, Zoom, Google Meet. And what I like about it is it's all supported with the same experience. So you notice over here on our little WebEx board on the right hand side of the screen, we've got these big green join buttons and you can see the meetings that are in this room all day. So the first meeting is a WebEx, the second Microsoft Teams, then a Google Meet and then a Zoom. And we have that one button to push on every type of meeting. So no matter what kind of meeting you're walking into the room trying to join, all you do is hit the join button and you're ready to go. One other cool feature that I wanted to highlight, uh, this is actually being introduced this spring and this is called the people focus. So across the whole portfolio of WebEx devices, we're gonna offer this feature. Uh, this is called best overview with smart cropping. So you can see over on the left, we've got kind of our traditional meeting room video conference. Uh, you see three people, spread out at a table. Uh, the person in the back of the room looks a little smaller. The two on the sides look a little bigger just because of where the camera is located. And so it, it's kind of a weird experience as a remote participant. And then we see over on the right hand side, the WebEx board is actually smart cropping everyone. So it's finding each person in that room. It's cropping them into a box just for them. So we don't have to look at as much of the room and we see more of the people. And taking a look at this, this is the remote participant view. So for me as a remote participant, instead of having to see a meeting room and then all of our other remote people, it's all about the people. We don't care that the three people are in the same meeting room. We still see them in their own separate boxes. And so it, it's a really great experience as a remote participant of the meetings. So now talking WebEx board, um, the WebEx board is basically like a big iPad. So you've got digital whiteboard, you've got video conferencing, and it's all on a touch display. Uh, the coolest thing about this is what you see on the right there is all you need. So you don't need a big cabinet of computer equipment. You don't need microphones all over the room or speakers installed on the ceiling. You can come into a room, we can install this board, and you're good to go for these tasks. Uh, it's, it's a really sleek look. There's no wires. There's options to put these on wheels if you want to be able to move them around the office. And then you've got this idea of the digital whiteboard. So you can collaborate uh, there in the room. You can connect to another WebEx board at another office and have this connected whiteboard going on. And it's a really great experience. So two form factors, there's a 55 inch and a 75 inch. And so those are like TV sizes. Uh, you've got the 55 inch, which is kind of for the small meeting room and huddle space. You've got the 75 inch, which is going to be better in a medium large meeting room or a larger huddle space. 
other than that, exactly the same thing. So we're just talking screenshot size. So now jumping into some quick demo, uh, I'll show you a few different features here. So the first thing I want to show is the whiteboard. And so I'm actually just tapping on my WebEx board here and I'm going to pull up the whiteboard. And so what you should see probably is my PowerPoint presentation go away and you're going to see our little cloud planning, cloud days planning deck. Um, this has been really cool for us as an IT team because we use Kanban boards a lot. So in this case, you've got a to do and a doing and a done, and we've added sticky notes on the board for each of these things. And so we did the cloud calling demo this morning. I'll move that over to done. And then we're in the WebEx devices demo right now, so I can move that to doing. Uh, it's a really cool experience. You know, I, I've been in the meeting rooms before where there's a board on the wall and there's actual sticky notes everywhere. We like this because we can save it. We can pull this up at our weekly meeting every week and kind of walk through it. And then as a traditional whiteboard, I can also pick up a stylus and I can draw on this board as well. Uh, this can all be saved, exported out, emailed. So it's a really great experience. So let me close out of that and we'll drop back into the PowerPoint here for a minute. So whiteboarding on a white screen is great. Uh, what about maybe if we wanted to draw on the presentation? So I'm going to go back a slide here and then I'm actually going to hit my annotate button. And so for the remote participant, what you're seeing is still the slide. But for me, I've got the option to annotate. So I can say here's our small board. And then here's our larger board. And it's got shapes, so really easily can draw shapes onto the board. And we can save that out, we can email it. So as an example, we'll use this a lot kind of on our weekly meetings. If we have this diagram that's developing over many weeks, we'll take advantage of this. Well, let me drop back out of this. And one last feature that I really enjoy is the ability to do apps on the WebEx board. So I, I wish I could take my computer here and almost sit it in another part of the room, but what I assure you is I'm not using the computer as part of this. So this is all running right here on the WebEx board. So I can tap on the board, I can say Google Maps. And so it's actually going to load up the Google Maps interface. And so you should be seeing that on the screen and I can interact with it just like an iPad. So I'm going to zoom out here just a little bit. And maybe pan up just a bit. And there we go. So we see Cincinnati. So you can interact with the map just like an iPad and you can take it a step further. So I can hit the annotate button again. And this is all happening without a computer, so I can pick up my stylus and maybe I'm planning a trip down to the Cincinnati Zoo. Uh, we could say I'm starting right here in Middletown and I'll switch colors. I could take the interstate down here. Uh, we'll go right through Cincinnati and whoops, erase that. So we'll end up right here at the zoo. So not not anything earth shattering, but what I enjoy about it is it really enables us to kind of jump into a room really quickly and have this quick discussion. Nobody had to pull out their laptop. Nobody had to pull up Google Maps, anything like that. It's all running right there on the board. We can all stand up at the board and interact with it. So it's been a, a really great experience. And so I'll drop back into the slideshow. And that's all I had for today. So kind of three quick demos of what we can do on these boards. Um, the key points is just a, a great collaborative experience. So everything we were doing there can be shared across multiple rooms. If you've got multiple boards, your remote participants can be involved and it, it's just a sleek experience. It, it's really like that iPad directly on the wall. All right, and thanks everybody for joining me today. Um, Hope you enjoyed hearing more about the WebEx board and hope you enjoy the rest of your cloud days.